Hi guys, so let me set the scene for you. It is summer, it is hot outside, there's all these temptations to go on patios and have a beer, have wings, and um, let me just uh, tell you that that's okay. But if you're looking for something a little bit more healthier, you're really trying to uh, keep up your shape throughout the summer, maybe you've got a half marathon you're preparing for, maybe you just want to look really, really sexy in your bikini, whatever it is, uh, I'm going to help you with a recipe that you can enjoy a nice chilled tea, but it will be healthy and will actually do a lot of great things for you besides just taste. So what I've done is I've already made green tea and I've chilled it in the refrigerator for two hours. So I had a boiling hot water, you can do a kettle. Um, I put two tea bags in, green tea, I have organic here. And I put it in the fridge for two hours, it's chilled and it, I just put it in a nice wine thing. So uh, the next step is we're gonna add a teaspoon of chlorophyll. So chlorophyll is a natural detoxifier. It stains everything it touches, so just be careful. Now you don't have to put chlorophyll in it, but I'm making it optimally healthy here. And you're not gonna taste it, which is good. So I'm gonna put one teaspoon, put that in, not spill anything. And then I'm going to just give it a whirl. And then I'm gonna add my fruit. So this is what's gonna make it tropical. So I've got lemon here, I've got lime, I've got grapefruit and orange. So you know what, I'm gonna have to cut some of this stuff. So I'm gonna cut my lime. You can put as much or as little as you want. And the more you make this, the more you're gonna figure out what you like, right? But this is a, such a better opportunity, or such a better alternative, I should say, to the regular iced tea stuff. And you can bring this to a party, it looks really good too, with all the fruit in it. And people are gonna be like, this is awesome, what is it? Then you're gonna have to show people this video on how to make it. So I'm gonna smash all that fruit in there. It's already looking so awesome. I'm gonna cut a little bit more. Don't cut your fingers. So I'm getting to the top here. Let's see, I need a little bit more lemon. I don't think I even put any in. So lemon in there. It's like a healthy sangria, but no alcohol and it's iced tea. So you're gonna let that sit. And now what I would do is I would empty out a little bit more of the tea and I'd put more fruit in it if you weren't here watching me, but uh, you can do whatever you like. Now, how do you make it sweet? Because iced tea is sweet, right? So we're gonna use an agave sweetener. So you can use stevia if you want. I do not recommend using a Splenda or any kind of sucralose or any fake sweeteners. I think an all natural sweetener is the best way to go. Again, we're trying to make this as optimal as possible. So this, Again, this is preference. So I'm gonna add a teaspoon, just a teaspoon, and it's kinda, it's kinda like honey. So it's a little thicker, and you wanna mix this right around. I'll use my big spoon, just the end. So mix, 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 then try it. See. Honestly, one teaspoon's all you need. Now, again, it's up to preference, but that tastes awesome and it's not even ready yet. So what I want you to do is take this, you're gonna put it in the refrigerator and let it sit. Let it sit for two, three hours, two and a half hours, and then bring it out. You can put fancy flowers on it, you can put it in a beautiful glass. Now, I'm not using ice, I just like it chilled, but if you wanna use ice, you can put ice into your cup and then pour it over it, and it's a delicious drink, and it is a great alternative to the stuff that um, makes us sluggish and is full of sugar. So. Happy iced tea making, and I hope you enjoyed this video. If you wanna see more videos, please subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you next time. Bye.